Studio One 6.1 introduces one of the most anticipated features of our users, custom colors for your tracks, channels, and your arrangement. This is really, really awesome. Let me show you what it's all about. So when you right click an event and click on this color badge here, then you're able to select the color of the respective event in the arrangement. And similarly, if you click here on this color badge in the track list, then you're able to change the entire track color, including the event color if you wish. Now that's something you've always been able to do in Studio One, but what's brand new now is that you can actually select your own color palette. This is something that so many Studio One users have requested and is now finally implemented in Studio One 6.0. One. So to take advantage of this, just click on this color badge, just like you would before, and then click on this brand new arrow here. And now you're able to set your own colors in HSL, RGB, or hex values. You can also use this very convenient color picker here. And once you have something you like, you can just click on this plus here to add this color to your palette. And likewise, if you want to remove a color, you just click on this minus here and the selected color will be removed from the color picker. We also have a bunch of presets to get you started. So this is the classic version 5 color palette that we had previously. And now because of all these new customized color options that we have, we can actually load up like 256 colors if we so choose. We can also go with a preset such as Neon Vice, which comes with a much more limited but very carefully selected color palette. I really like this one because it comes with some gorgeous pastel colors here. And of course, you can always change these colors to your heart's content. If you're not quite happy with this, then you can just turn on the color wheel here or dial in your own RGB, HSL and so forth values. Once you have something you like, you can just store or load that as a preset and you can also share these presets with others or download them from other users via Personas Exchange, which is a preset hub where users can share and download all kinds of Studio One related presets. The last chosen color preset will be the new global color palette that is visible for your future productions. But of course, the color palette of your existing productions will not be changed. So you're not breaking your existing color schemes here. It's really so much fun to create your own color palettes and customize Studio One in your individual way. So download Studio One 6.1 today and try it out for yourself.